We'll be seeing quiet conditions tonight with a warmer forecast in our future for most of us across the Contra Valley. Let's dive right into it tonight with our weather headlines. Gusty weather today. Conditions will continue tomorrow. Highs will be in the 60s. Another cool day tomorrow, even though we're in spring in full effect. We'll be seeing a dry weather pattern going into the next couple of days and warming conditions with the weather continuing to be nice for us across our area. Current conditions across Texas look like this. 40s for most of Texas, 50s as we go further to the south and to the east. Looking at 60 trend for Brownsville, Corpus Christi, and Laredo. A little broad range of temperatures. Now, the cold front has moved through our region but brought some active storms, especially for New Orleans who saw a tornado today. Still continuing with those tornado watches and warnings for portions of Alabama and Mississippi. This is a pretty strong system. Again, along Interstate 22 and I-10, definitely Driving that way is not a goal. You want to check on your family if they live in these areas where they're currently seeing some active weather, especially in New Orleans tonight where they saw that tornado confirmed on the ground today. But here, we'll be seeing conditions dry out for us. Again, some cloud cover over the region, but we'll be seeing some breaks as we go into tomorrow before we see more partly cloudy conditions going into our future. Right now, temperatures are in the 50s and 40s. 49 in Junction, 48 in Roosevelt, 45 in Eden. A little cooler to the east than out here in the west, 52 in Sterling City and also Ozone. We're at 52 degrees as well. That low pressure system is going to continue to be a force to reckon with throughout this week. It's going to swing through the plains and through the Midwest into the Northeast. This high pressure is going to keep our weather dry for us. It's going to move over pretty much over the plains and into the Texas area, giving us some subsidence. May see some breezy conditions Sunday. Don't be surprised of that. Moving to the east and then another low pressure system. This one hinting that it could bring some rain to eastern Texas. Not so much for us, but definitely bringing in look at the windy conditions going forward into the next couple of days and with that it only takes one spark of anything to start a fire again avoid open burning going into tomorrow avoid parking on the grass do not drive on a flat tire and properly dispose of your cigarettes that's a big thing that can help prevent sparking fires that we've been seeing across the Lone Star State and across our area as well. Winds will be a little gusty Wednesday, roughly out of the south, uh, west, and east. We'll see conditions continue to taper down with wind speeds. Thursday being less windy into Friday, picking back up come Saturday into the teens again. And if you were planning to go out and walk your dog, just get a late jog in maybe if you want to clear your head. Definitely going to see some clouds, mostly clear conditions in the 1 o'clock hour. That may be too late for some of us. Some of us may be sleeping, but temperatures will be dropping back into the 40s before we actually see a warming trend going into this week. Now, let's talk about this week. It is going to be ultimately beautiful. Temperatures in the 70s Thursday, then rising into the 80s Friday. Overall, look across the Lone Star State in the 80s. So it's some warm weather going into Saturday and Sunday. Looking into the low 90s, possibly, as we go into Monday. Definitely could be surprised to get temperatures that high in springtime. Everywhere else looking at nine, maybe 90s in the Panhandle and upper 80s for most of us. Some cloud cover moves in Tuesday ahead of that next trough system that could keep us a little cooler, but not too much cooler going into the next week. Tonight's conditions, well, I told you, we'll be in the 40s. We won't be seeing too much changes with that going into tomorrow. You can expect conditions for your Wednesday to definitely be in the 30s, maybe be a cooler start into the next five days where we continue to see conditions be more favorable for us going into the next seven days. We'll see a warming trend with plenty of sunshine. Some clouds sneak in by next week with temperatures getting into the low 90s. We'll be back with more KSAN News.